uh, hi everyone so today we will very quickly try to understand what is a var model for multivariate time series forecasting so var uh, stands for vector auto regression so you must have known uh, what is auto regression if not so you can uh, visit my previous video to understand how what is auto regression so giving you one liner auto regression is nothing but forecasting of a given variable xt at a time stamp t using its past values so if uh, auto if ar model is of the order 2 we will be considering two past values if the ar model is of the order 5 we will be considering pa uh, five past values xt minus 5 xt minus 4 xt minus 3 xt minus 2 xt minus 1 and similarly now what var is uh, basically uh, as in case of auto regression we are considering just the past values of the variable x which is getting forecasted also in case of VR, we would be considering the past values of other variables as well alongside the variable itself that is getting forecasted. So, for example, as you can see, assume that we have this particular data set uh, where we have given temperature, cloud cover, dew point, humidity wind, and we wish to uh, forecast temperature for the future time. Assume it to be 10 pm and 11 pm. Now, uh, as we know that temperature is also dependent upon these factors, right? Uh, cloud cover, dew point, humidity wind. So in case of VAR, what we are trying to do is we are considering all multiple variables uh, in forecasting temperature alongside the past values of temperature itself. Uh, so if it would have been auto regression, uh, assume that we are uh, trying to forecast temperature underscore 3, uh, temperature T where T equals to 3. So in case of a AR of order 1, it would have been the equation would have been A plus B star into uh, temperature T minus 1, that is 2. Or in case of order 2, it would have been A plus B into T uh, uh, temperature T minus 1, C into temperature T minus 2, plus uh, the error constant. Now in case of vector auto regression, uh, if we are trying to calculate temperature T where T equals to 3, so what we are doing, if you can observe, now this is of the order 1, right? Order 1 means that we are considering just the past value, the immediate past value, not other values. So you can see that we are also considering the other factors, the other variables present that is A underscore T2 uh, plus B underscore T2 into humidity underscore 2, uh, T minus 1, that is like T is equals to 3, then T minus equals to 2. C underscore T2 into cloud cover into uh, upon T uh, cloud cover T minus 1 and so on and so forth. Uh, the fourth term would calculate as something like this temperature if t equals to 4 then a underscore t3 plus b underscore t3 into humidity t minus 1 cloud cover t minus 1 and so on so forth so you can see that in case of auto regression we were using just the variable itself but in case of vector auto regression we are using other variables present also uh, now uh, let's uh, now where in in both these equations a underscore t2 b underscore t2 or a underscore t3 b underscore t3 are the coefficients that are getting associated now one thing to note in var is that for every term that we are forecasting temperature underscore t3 temperature underscore t uh, underscore 4 temperature underscore 3 temperature underscore 4 you can see that uh, the coefficients are also changing so earlier the uh, constant coefficient was a underscore t2 now it's a underscore t3 Earlier, the coefficient for the first lag of humidity was B underscore T2. Now it's become B underscore T3. So does it may uh, does it confuses you? Yes. Uh, so in case of VAR, for every variable that we are forecasting, right? For every point we are forecasting. So be it temperature T equals to three and be it temperature T equals to four, uh, we would be having different equation. So the equation of uh, the equation followed for temperature t equals to 3 won't be similar to temperature t equals to 4 or temperature t equals to 5. Now, what do we mean by different equation? Uh, when the coefficients of the equation are changing, so as you can see that uh, we aren't following the same coefficients. Uh, if we would have been following the same coefficient, it would have been a underscore t2 here, b underscore t2 here, and humidity would have been 3. But in case we can see that as the terms are changing, we are also changing the coefficients. Uh, so this is a very crucial point that we need to understand in case of VAR that uh, whenever we would be forecasting any particular point, uh, we would be forming multiple equations. So, uh, when t equals to 1, we would be having a different equation. When t equals to 2, we would be having a different equation. When t equals to 3, we would be having a different equation. Uh, now, this system can help you understand better where uh, y1, y2, yk is the value that we need to forecast. 
equals to a1 a2 ak that is the constant as you can see that as you're forecasting y2 we are having a different constant a2 coming in uh, in plus the weights matrix into k uh, y1 t minus and y2 t minus so now these are the first lags that are given so uh, depending upon the order as you can see that we have given some ellipses as well till one uh, till t minus p so depend where p is the order of the lag that we need to follow so if p equals to 3 so we will be going till t minus 1 t minus 2 t minus 3 if the order of var is equals to 4 then we would be going for t minus 1 t minus 2 t minus 3 t minus 4 plus the error constant uh, as you can see that even the error constant is not getting repeated so whatever value that we are forecasting we will have in a different equation with different coefficients every time 